What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do a burnt Air Force One custom. A few months ago, a guy named Just Win Customs posted these Air Force Ones on Instagram and I thought they were insane. So I figured I'd make a tutorial showing you guys how to do a similar burnt effect. These are a size 11, so if you want to buy these, they'll be on my store, which is linked below. Later this week, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. I'm going to be unboxing this giant package that I got in the mail from Angelus Direct. They messaged me on Instagram a couple weeks ago and were nice enough to send me a bunch of free supplies. I might do a giveaway with some of this stuff. I don't know yet. We'll have to see what's inside. Also, this morning I got my first order from a celebrity, so if you guys can guess who it is, I'll pin your comment. But yeah, I'm going to do a video doing his shoes next week, so be on the lookout for that. And the last thing before I get started, it's not too late to enter the giveaway for the Hydro Dip Jordan 1s that I did in last week's video. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, go check it out. And yeah, that's it, so let's get started. So off camera, I've already prepped the leather with some acetone and I removed the swoosh. But the first step to this custom is sketching out the shape of the burnt swoosh. Using some tape, I'm going to mask off the top edge of the swoosh. Using my airbrush and some light brown Angelus paint, I'm going to spray along the edge of the tape to create a fade. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing around the bottom edge. Now I'm going to retape along the top edge and try and match the shape of the swoosh as best as I can. Using some flat black, I'm going to spray along the edge of the tape, but this time I don't want it to spray out as far as the brown paint, so I'm going to spray at a 90 degree angle. And again, I'm going to repeat the same process for the bottom. So this is what it should look like if you did it right. When I taped up the bottom, I messed up, but it's really easy to fix. All I did was dip a Q-tip in some acetone and then the paint rubbed right off. Once I got that fixed, I filled in the white space with some matte black. So far the burnt effect is coming out pretty well. With some white paint, I went around and outlined the swoosh. The key to making this look realistic is to vary the width of the white line. The last step is to take some lava orange paint and then go over the white outline. And then to add some extra detail, I added in some yellow. Now we're finished with the painting, so the last thing to do is to spray the shoes with some matte finish and then lace them up. I recently made a Snapchat and a Twitter, so if you guys haven't already, go ahead and follow me on there. 
that's going to wrap up this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.